Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and I'm back here with another lipstick declutter. I've already done my pink lipsticks and this is what I would consider my pink brown lipsticks. It has become extremely annoying that I have all my lipsticks in <laughs> Ziploc bags. So I've decided I need to speed the series up and I need to get it done. I need to sort my lipsticks. I've got my face done from one of my looks. I'll link it down below once it's up. I'm not gonna, I think, worry too much about redoing around my mouth, so I'm sorry that's just gonna look messy, but we are gonna do lip swatches because it just helps me. So I thought I'll start out with the lipsticks that I know I'm not gonna get rid of, and then the ones I'm a bit on the fence with. But I did actually just grab this one out, and I'm not very good at picking undertones, I'm not gonna say it, but these were more like a darker pink brownie lip, is what I would call them. But I could be absolutely wrong. Either way, all the lipsticks I'm about to swatch on my lips are listed below in the order that I swatch them. So, that's what you're here for. Anyway, the first lipstick I'm wearing is my MAC Nicki Minaj lipstick, and this is Nicki's Nude. I... I don't know, I don't... It's nice. It's nice, and it will stay, I think, mainly because it's MAC and it's limited edition. And I think I think I'm okay with it, which I mean is like a... Oh, well, it does, I think it, I think it is a nice look. But yeah, sorry, my, last time my lips, I tried covering them with foundation and it just kind of made more of a problem. So one of the ones I know I'm probably not going to get rid of is Fenty Stunner Lip in Uncuffed. This formula is, is very drying. Just as like, it's, once it dries, you're stuck with it. And I do like this, I do like this look. I don't like that it doesn't fit in when I, with any of my other lipsticks because I've only got one of these maybe I need to buy more just so I can line them up but that's, that's a silly reason to buy lipsticks isn't it would look better if I had my hair down so I like this formula, it's quite long lasting and it's drying, I don't like the packaging but it's not bad I'm going to wipe this off before it dries oh I forgot to count them I hate counting them though to be honest 29 all right, so another one I know I'm definitely not going to get rid of is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Pumpkin Spice. This is from their Christmas collection. I love the way this smells. It's probably more of an orange brown, but I like this color. I like the smell. I love that it's like the mini. It makes me happy. All right, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm washing my foundation brush at the moment, so I actually can't really fix what I've done. Yes, I'm just going to powder a little bit just so it doesn't look as crazy. This is like a super old Lancome. Alright, so this is my Kylie lip in Dazzle. It's funny how much they like kind of end up looking similar. But I'm going to keep this one. It still smells quite nice. And I do love like a little bit of colour that it gives. It's nice. I'm sorry, I look like a uh, bit all over the place. This is my Kat Von D in Lovecraft. Her formula is so good. It's probably more true to the pink brown that I said that we were doing. The other ones have been more like an orange brown. I like this color, it's, just, it's nice, simple, easy. Her formula is good, even if the person behind it is not. Uh, this is my Hourglass Mini from one of my Beauty Loop boxes. And this is Peacemaker. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's a nice little mini to carry around. It's one of those ones that won't dry down, like, that don't dry down and won't last very long. But, for now, it stays. I'm sorry, I will try and get rid of, like, at least five, like I did last time. Alright, so this is my last MAC one in this range, in this Apricot Gold. This is from one of their collections that they did with someone. I bought it because I love the packaging. I do like this colour, I don't think it's fully me. I mean, is it that different from the other ones I just kept? I don't know. It's very orange-brown. I'm going to keep it for now, but let me know what you think about it. I've got second thoughts about it. I've got an Illamasqua 
Glamour Lipstick in Cherub. I feel like I can let this one go. I just, I don't need this many in this shade. It has a nice formula, but it doesn't feel that much different from any of the bullets, really, to be honest. I've got another MAC. This is probably going to be Velvet Teddy. And this is just a mini. Right, as you can see, I have a lipstick buying problem, so I'm never worried I'm going to run out. It's nothing special. It's a mini. And it's a shade that a lot of people talk about, which I don't fully get. It's like... Yeah, it's just nice. Except I'm starting to look... Alright. I'm going to fix it up with foundation. I'm starting to look a bit intense, I believe. It's just looking a bit messy. And a bit red around my lips. Which I mean, to be expected. I think a slight improvement. Hey, Master Lynn. Can I come say hello? Alright, let's go to a long con. This is another stupid name. Um, 2010LBB. Now, this is a very sheer formula. I'm pretty sure that something is a bit wrong with it. I just, I know I haven't really used it or pulled it out. It's probably just melted a bit, actually. Ugh, I don't really care about this one that's going. This is good. These are the ones I thought I would keep as well. Ugh. Sorry, I just think in my like um, making eyeshadow brushes out of my cat's hair, I did say that I end up consuming a lot of my cat's hair. Um, I think she's been exploring my makeup station. So this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. I got this in my last Beauty Loop box from Mecca. It's nice. I do like the colour. It's nothing too special, but it's really nice and compact. Like, compare it to the ColourPop one. So, I like it when going in my bag and it's easy to top up. And I think it does last a little while. Once I let it dry down, which I'm not going to let it happen. This is my ColourPop Matte in Big Break. I know I really like this one because I use it a lot. And yeah. I don't know, it's just something about this, this shade that I really, I really like. This is a Scorpio Moon from the Kathleen Lights collection from Colourpop. I usually do pick up all the colours that she recommends. That she collabs on because they're usually going to suit my skin tone quite well. This is a nice pinky shade. Staying. I like it. I think maybe this is just more like darker pinks with some browns mixed in. This is a Too Faced Melted in nude. Oh, I got this in a kit with this one and Child Star. I don't think I know where Child Star is. Mm. Mm. I'm not. The formula feels really nice. Like really nice and moisturizing. It's like on the chopping block. What do you reckon? I'll keep it for now. I've knocked two out and I think there's still more to go. I mean, we're going through a lot. Let's do some of my Colourpop lippies. This is Skimpy. <laughs> that is a lot. No. We're getting rid of this one. I think I have enough shades sort of like that are light enough from the pink declutter. Alright, so this is Lumiere from Colourpop. Another lippy stick. I don't think I would ever really just reach for this because it's not bad. I just, yeah, I think someone else could enjoy this more than I do. I feel like I've already got heaps of these shades now. Oh, I've got this Smashbox in, oh, I actually don't know what shade it is. I think this is from one of the Beauty Loop boxes. It seems to be a mini. Mm, it's just like a bit drying. It is like a nice like brownie red maybe. But I think I'm happy to get rid of this one. I just I don't I don't need all, all these lipsticks. Alright we're getting into the stained area. 
So I actually can't find the red one of these, but this is from the Christmas collection. <laughs> Look how banged up. This has just been living in my bag for so long. I bought this because the Beauty News girls love this formula. I, I'm not really into it. Like, I don't really like the smell. It just smells, uh, I think it's very rose. Yeah. It's a chemical rose scent. It doesn't last very long. And the packaging shits me off more than anything. I think I'm going to keep it, but it's not going to live in my bag anymore. Because it's not a bad colour. And it does feel, like, kind of funny. But... And it's sort of a reminder to me that you can't trust, like, whatever... Like, just because you love watching someone doesn't always mean that you're going to enjoy their recommendations. But it is a good colour. Alright, so this is a Bite Beauty in L-E-C-H-E Lish a matte cream. I bought this as a safe work colour. Uh, the formula doesn't last very long for work. I, and I don't really like it. I don't really like the smell. And it doesn't, it just doesn't last very long on me at all. And it does seem just like quite light. And that's the thing you're always sort of looking for is like my lips but better. It's maybe here with this one. I think I'm going to keep it. But I'm not, not fully in love with it. Let me know what you think of this colour. I'd love your thoughts. I just remember how frustrating it was when I was buying it. And I really wanted to try the formula and really enjoy it. And I haven't really enjoyed wearing this lipstick. It's got a very strong scent to me. But I can be sensitive to some scents and then I don't care about others. It's very confusing in my brain. Um, and yeah. It's not a bad colour. It's sticky. So this is a uh, colour design of Vintage Rose. It's a sheen. I sort of know how big the lip gloss collection is. So a sheen just doesn't really appeal to me. Because <laughs> I... The more I've been thinking about lipsticks, the more I sort of realise that I like to wear a matte lipstick and then put a gloss over the top. Because I find the gloss just gives, brings back a bit of moisture to me. And I'm not super... What is that? If, it, if the lips... I like the lipstick to just last and I don't mind popping up, like topping up with lip gloss. I'd rather top up with lip gloss than redoing my lips. This is a Lancome Lip Lover. I've had it so long. The name's gone from the bottom. I bought this when my sister worked on the counter. So I know it's going to be really old. So it's expired, so I know I should throw it out. I think I will. Or at least I'm just going to put it in the declutter section. It's, it's not a bad formula. It's quite... It's alright. It's just not me. Right, I've got this flower beauty and this is tickled pink. It has a like bullet end and then a lipstick end. I had the same problem with this one where it just doesn't last very long. I think I expect too much out of the baked bullet lipstick sometimes. This is not a bad colour. I'm gonna keep it because I know I just bought this like pretty recently. And I don't mind like how much nicer is that colour from this end. So I'm not super into it, but it's it's not bad. And I want to spend some more time with the formula before I fully like I'm like, no, I don't like it at all. We've got a lot of ColourPop. It's all ColourPop coming up now. So this is ColourPop freaking Frack in a mini. Oh, this is like a proper brown. Yeah, I feel like this color is like a little bit special. And I like that it's a mini. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I could just have minis for all my lips lipsticks. Because I don't think I've ever panned one. Though to be fair, I've only accumulated these in the last, like, two years, I think. And I just kept buying more and more. <laughs> okay, and then we've got... I'm trying to avoid the ultra mattes. They're all going to be at the end. Alright, so we've got an ultra satin Kathleen Lights. And this is Dreamy. Yeah, I don't know, that colour kind of grabs me straight away. I do like it. And I do like the Colourpop Ultra Satin formula. 
All right, we've got screenshot ColourPop Ultra Satin. Ooh. No, I'm not about. Oh, mm. oh, I feel like I don't need this at all. It's not a bad color. I like it. Like it's it's all right. But you've seen how many I've already kept. I've got plenty sort of in this range. I feel like. I don't know if other people feel like this, but I feel because ColourPop is such an affordable brand, they're more like replaceable to me. No, like, if it was a fifty dollar one or like the Kylie one. Because I spent so much money on it, it doesn't feel like it feels more special. It's just such a stupid way to think about makeup. So this is an ultra satin from Karushi's line, and this is Mrs. Or I love Sahari. I got very confused with this. Oh, this is a bit more special. A bit more of a, like a pinky brown red. Yeah. Have a stain. Right. I don't know how much I can be bothered fixing everything. This is Viper from Colourpop and Ultra Matte. I'm not the biggest fan of their Ultra Matte formula. And I bought a lot of it, I think, before even the Ultra Satin formula came out because I know I've got a lot of Ultra Satin. Mm. I feel like I don't have much of this colour. I think I'm going to keep it because of that because I do like this colour. I wouldn't mind finding it in a more like in a better formula though. I don't know how it landed in this like pink brown bag though. So I'm trying not to get any foundation on my lips. Just because I don't think it affected the swatching but it just started feeling like very wrong last time. I'm going to got two more to go and I've got a Colourpop first base. I wore this the other day and I'm pretty sure this is like I'm not keeping it. I think this is for straight for the bin. It's sort of dried out. Yeah, I've just had to dip in a heap to get this. I think keeping the other colour is fine. This is definitely going with the bin. This formula is definitely wrong. But it's a nice colour. And we're up to our final one. And this is Colourpop Ultra Matte in take five. Oh, I feel like this is like probably one of the closer pink brown. This is nice, but I know this formula is not my favourite. It's going, yeah, and I feel like I've, I've already swatched a shade like a few times. So in the declutter, so looking at the final count, we had, we started with 29. We threw one away. So I got myself down to 19 and these are all the ones that we are getting rid of today. That's pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy with my progress. I feel like I'm getting better at this. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. We've still got like more of the bag to go through. I'm really wanting to sort. Let's see, I really want to get these out of the bag so I can sort them and put them back in their official homes because it's been very frustrating to me not being able to use my lipsticks as easily. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this declutter. I feel like I'm getting better at it each time. Anyway, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.